Prior to Manchester United coming back from 2-0 down to beat Newcastle 3-2, the writing seemed to be on the wall for Jose Mourinho after that game against West Ham, Derby, Valencia, Wolves, four games without a win, Manchester United not playing well at all. It really did look like the writing was on the wall that Mourinho had lost the players and certainly lost a large proportion of the fan base. But that win against Newcastle has given Jose Mourinho a bit of relief. And then a two-week international break came straight after to give even more relief. But the six-game fixture list that United have got coming up next really is a do-or-die period for Jose Mourinho as Manchester United manager. Come out of it with the right results, he's going to have so many more fans back on his side. Come out of it with the wrong results, hard to argue for him keeping his job. If you haven't looked at the fixture list coming up, here is that list. It all starts with Chelsea away, Manchester United's hardest game of the season up there with Anfield. Then we've got Juventus at home, Everton at home, Bournemouth away, followed by Juventus away, and Manchester City away, just to finish it in November. Come out of this period with the wrong results, say, worst case scenario, losing to Juventus home and away and losing to Chelsea and Man City. Arguably, well, we're nearly out of the Champions League. Juventus would have topped their group and the Premier League season could arguably be over by the start of November. How do you argue for Mourinho keeping his job then? But it all starts with Chelsea away. And arguably, this is the most important game of the six. You know, Manchester United's record at Stamford Bridge is absolutely abysmal. We've won once there in the last 16 games. The last time we won there was in 2012 when Javier Hernandez scored an offside winner in a 3-2 win against nine men. Chelsea at Stamford Bridge have had our number even in Fergie's best years. We had the Mourinho was when Chelsea manager. Chelsea just seemed to have United's number at Stamford Bridge and it's arguably the most important game as well. We've had the Newcastle game that gave us a bit more momentum. Then the international break let the dust settle for a little bit. But if we go to Stamford Bridge and get beaten convincingly by Maurizio Sarri's side, who really have been firing on all cylinders, and there's no argument there about a manager trying to settle in at a new Premier League club, Chelsea looking brilliant this season. If we do have a convincing defeat there, then all the relief that United and Mourinho gained from the Newcastle game will be completely lost and out the window, and the pressure is going to be even more intense on Mourinho to lose his job then. And that, for me, is why this, out of the six games, is the most important one. But then only a few days later, Man United play Juventus at Old Trafford. And of course, Cristiano Ronaldo is eligible to play in this game after his one-match ban for being sent off in the first game against Valencia. Now, United fans are going to be buzzing about seeing Ronaldo back at Old Trafford. That's always going to be the case. That puts extra pressure on this game. So this game really, if we lose this game against Juventus, They've arguably topped the group already. And then obviously we play them next, back-to-back -back Juventus games here in the Champions League. But what we saw against Valencia in the Champions League was abysmal in that nil-nil draw. That can't happen. United at Old Trafford, under the, under the lights, Champions League, some of the best nights ever at Old Trafford have happened in those circumstances. And the pressure again will be on United and Mourinho to perform. Yes, this is a results-driven business, but it's reached the point now where Mourinho, I don't think it's, it's a tough situation for Mourinho now. It really, really is. And arguably, he's forced himself into it. But the performances now matter just as much as results do. A while ago, a year ago, that wouldn't have been the case with Mourinho because you knew what was going to happen with the performance. But in terms of keeping the United fans on side and actually turning this around, it can't just happen with drab performances even if there's a win at the end of it. To win the fans back, Mourinho has to start playing with Verve. And I don't, th I, that's probably not gonna happen. But will that happen against Juventus? If we, if we lose this game, Jesus Christ, the pressure's gonna go nuclear. And then after that, you've got two games in the Premier League, Everton at home and Bournemouth away. Pretty much a lose-lose situation because fans will be looking at these expecting Manchester United to win against Everton and Bournemouth. Everton. You know, they've got Marco Silva, they had a good summer of signings again, but Everton still shaky-shaky. But United fans would be expecting United to beat Bournemouth away from home like we did last year and also to beat Everton. So it's a lose-lose situation. Win, it was expected. Lose or draw, more pandemonium. And this is a different sort of pressure to the Chelsea away or Juventus at home, but it's pressure all the same. So that's Chelsea away, Juventus at home, 
followed up by two back-to-back -back Premier League games against Everton and Bournemouth. Then it's Juventus away. And Juventus away up against the European elite. It's going to be brilliant to see United in that situation. How far behind the European elite are we truly? We'll find out in Turin. But if United do lose that first game against Juventus, Juventus can top the group, can confirm first place by beating United on this night in Turin. And then Valencia have got back-to-back -back games against young boys. So at the same time as we've, we're facing Juventus, easily the best team in the group, Valencia have got the whipping boys and young boys. If they get six points out of those two games, they'll be on seven points, maybe ahead of United in the group. All to play for. And very much the context will change how important this game is. But if United don't win against Juventus at Old Trafford, then a win in Turin is an absolute must. And then, of course, after all of those games, you finish off with Manchester City away. Now, United right now, as it stands, we're seven points behind Man City. We've got Chelsea away to play, Bournemouth away, and Everton in between those two games. And in that same time, Man City have got Burnley at home, Spurs away, and Southampton at home. So you would expect United to go into this game probably 10 or more points behind Manchester City. And if we lose this game against City, you could argue that maybe the Premier League race is out of reach already at the start of November. And in the context of everything, if we can't win either of those games against Juventus, then maybe the Champions League is going to be out of our reach as well. It all de as, that's what I mean about this six-game period. It really is a make-or-break period for both Jose Mourinho as United manager and for Manchester United season. Come out of it with the right results. Mourinho's going to have a hell of a lot more support. United are going to be looking really good in comparison to how we have been the last six, seven weeks. But it's a hell of a, hell of a task to ask against Manchester City. As I said, you know, look, look at last year. That's where you've got to take inspiration from for United fans and for United players. 2-0 down against City in a game where if they won this match, they would have won the Premier League at home against United. 2-0 down at half-time. Paul Pogba inspires his best game in the United shirt, certainly his best 45 minutes in the United shirt. Man United win 3-2. City fans are crying. The fairy tale into the Amazon documentary is completely pushed to the side. In the grand scheme of things, beating City on that day changed absolutely fuck all. They still won the Premier League. It was still as painful. But we changed the history books by stopping that from happening. That would have been something that would have been impossible to forget about like Aguero's goal against QPR. It would have been another one of those moments which United managed to avoid. One of Mourinho's best games in terms of the result and the context of everything. But this period now, as I said, going into it, Chelsea away to start off with. Such a hard game. I'm not expecting much from it. A draw there will be a great result. Then you've got Juventus at home. Ronaldo's coming back. More pressure there as well. Then you've got Everton and Bournemouth, two games where fans will be expecting United to win. Then you've got Juventus away and then you've got Man City away. If United can come out of these games with the right sort of results, Mourinho is going to have a lot more support back in his corner. He's been given a set of games which the fans will be hyped for, the players will be hyped for, and Mourinho himself will be hyped for. It's an opportunity to give himself a new chance at United because if we do come out of this with the right set of results, Mourinho's going nowhere. Certainly not for the time being anyway. But if we can't perform, if we come out of this six game period with the wrong results, it really will be hard to argue against the fact that Mourinho isn't the right man for United and that change is needed. But let me know what you think about these six games in the comments below.